Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video today that just shows you a project I built a little while ago that's been pretty useful actually on our property here. And uh, it's kind of a redneck utility vehicle. Um, so just wanted to, thought it'd be a good day to show you guys this. It's kind of raining outside, so nothing much to do. Um, so I kind of been using this yesterday and I just been cleaning it up. So um, wanted to go over uh, just the, the things that I've added to this mower and you know why I went to this system instead of just buying a utility vehicle so um, this is just to be a quick video I went and um, was researching a whole lot about getting utility vehicles for the property um, you know we do a lot of work around here and just need to need to have a good way to haul material from one side of the property to the next you know and um, was doing that with wheelbarrows a lot and just so uh, this one, uh, you know, this gave me the idea of trying to, uh, you know, uh, find a better way of doing that and researching utility vehicles, you know, going to the store, looking at new ones, they are very expensive. And the, uh, and, and I think too expensive for what you get, for what we need it for. So I was looking for used ones and there's really not many out there uh, around here. A lot of people use them until they die basically. So. The ones you could find were also expensive or, you know, everything was shot and you needed to do a lot of work. And um, so I decided that maybe I'll kind of dip my toe into this kind of world and, and use this lawnmower as a utility vehicle. So I had this lawnmower um, sitting. Uh, I had a new one and so this one I wasn't using anymore. So I decided to let's just turn this one into it. Looked around online, found a couple of channels with a uh, with, you know, their setup. So I uh, got some ideas and so wanted to go through what I did to this lawnmower so maybe you can do it to yours and you know pros and cons and things like that that I've learned over the last you know year or so. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take you a little closer and we'll show you different aspects of the mower. All right, this gives you just a little closer view of what I've, what I've got here. So this mower, um, you know, is yard machines, 42 inch, pretty, pretty standard mower. I used it a lot and... Uh, but just got kind of tired of it. It's giving me some problems with starting and things like that. So ended up getting a new one. And then after a while, I came back to this one to to kind of get the engine problems fixed up. But um, in making it a uh, utility vehicle, I decided that, you know, you needed to remove the deck off the bottom. So I did that. And then a lot of lot that comes with that is removing the safety features that, you know, that is hooked up to the uh to the starting uh system with that deck so i had to kind of hot wire that so while i was at it i i just took all those safety features off and uh you know it was a uh, um so then it just you just hop on and hit the uh hit the key and then it starts so um anyway so after i removed the deck then i decided you know put some lights on it the original lights that came with it were uh uh substandard I guess you'd say they were incandescent lights and they were just weren't the uh just weren't the best so I went ahead and got these uh, these are just your standard you know fog lights from Walmart um they're just wired in per the directions really there's not much to it um and uh wire the switch I'll show you where I did that so the switch is right here underneath so wire that on turns on and then these are the lights it's pretty nice and Gives you a nice bright uh, field of view and it's also a lot farther distance than the original ones so after I put the lights on and uh, removed the deck and everything then I went ahead and got some tires so these tires in the back are for ATVs they are Sun F and they are 22 by uh, 10 by 8 uh, tires they have pretty ag aggressive tread on it and I needed something to kind of help grip in the back because a lot of times these mowers are just slipping and sliding around on the back tires but um, these worked pretty good one thing I do need now is new front tires these are the originals and basically when I'm trying to turn and I'm going fast and I'm trying to make a turn uh, the backs are gripping but the fronts are kind of kind of just getting pushed and it's sliding so it, it does turn but it's just not as not as sharp as I'd like so I'm looking into getting some new front tires put on this um, 
anyway so now I uh, wanted to get to kind of the meat of this is the the bed that's on the back it's pretty simple uh, you know plywood and uh, it looks like one by fours I believe it was so wanted to find a good way to put this on the back and it took a while for me to decide what uh, what size this should be what's a good size and I'm still trying to figure it out, I guess, uh, little modifications here and there. So right now, the size of this bed uh, is able to fit two five-gallon buckets on it. I'll get a tape measure here in a minute and show you guys. But basically, I wanted something that can carry two buckets of water, buckets of dirt, whatever. I don't have to carry it, so I just put them on the back here and drive around. So that was kind of what I, uh, you know, ended up going with was... Let's try to fit two five-gallon buckets. I think anything longer off the back would have been too much cantilevered and, uh, you know, just would have been too hard on the, uh, the system to keep it, uh, to keep that support that far away. So anyway, I'll, I'll take a measurement here in just a minute. But anyway, so this is the, the bed right here. Then underneath how I attached it is I don't. Oh, I don't really know how to weld, so that's kind of a, uh, it would have been an easy solution, I think. But what I ended up doing was, I don't know if you can see up in there, is this, I got these brackets from the hardware store to just kind of beef up the sheet metal on the back of the, uh, of the mower itself. Bolted it through the bed, through the sheet metal, and then into this bracket. And the bracket is bolted to the back wall here, so that, um is pretty well secured and then you know to support the back of the bed that has this downward force on it you need to have a way to support the back and so I came up with this system and I need to put a trailer hitch on this but what this is is a road sign support uh, the mowers when they were mowing the road um, ran over one of the, their road signs and it just destroyed the sign and mangled up a lot of the post but I was able to they just left it there right in our front of our house really so I went and got it and cut it off and attached it here with some more of these brackets just bolted them in and they're just bolted through and then I have some you know kind of one inch by one inch angle and bolted through to the top of the of the um, bed here and then have this wire to keep the tension so when you pull down on you know when this is pushed down this is wanting to push this down and you need to have some kind of tension to pull up on so uh you know to kind of keep it all it's almost like it's a triangle so that keeps the nice shape so i'm pulling down on it hard and it's not moving um so it's worked out pretty good when i put two buckets full of wet dirt in here there's no flexing or moving or or like noises and all that stuff so i think it works out pretty good um one thing i did add were these eyelets in the back and the front and that was allowing me to cinch down my water tank okay so uh, i got a tape measure now so for the bed itself the inside dimension is 24 and an eighth just over 24 inches and then the dimension front to back from the back of the seat when you sit in it, it kind of goes down so from the back of the seat to the inside dimension is about 13 and a half inches and so that allows me to get two um, five gallon buckets i'm also able to put this 25 gallon tank just on the back it fits pretty well see if i can show you guys a little better so Right now it fits in pretty good here in the back and I just take these straps and strap it down to those eyelets there. Same thing on this side. Uh, strap it down to the inside there and uh, see it fits pretty snug here but I'm able to um, fill this up completely uh, with water and spray and you know round up whatever so and it and it's that's a lot of a lot of weight there that's 25 gallon tank and um, Not sure. I think water weighs about seven or so pounds a gallon. So 
that's uh, that's quite a bit of weight here sitting on the back and it, it does a pretty good job same thing with those full uh, five gallon buckets full of wet soil it's those are probably about 70 pounds a piece and so that's uh you know 140 pounds sitting on the back there that's quite a lot as well as well so anyway so this is just a quick view of this utility vehicle that I've put together kind of my redneck utility vehicle um, you know there's a, a couple of pros and cons to this I mean it's it's nice that it's a you know it's basically a free um, build you know I could build have the chassis motor everything just the little ancillary things I had to buy uh, like the tires and lights and stuff but most of it was free um, so that's kind of nice uh, and it does the job you know it's it's kind of just what I, what I needed kind of put something in the back it's something you'd put in a wheelbarrow you can throw in the bed here and just wheel around and and not have to push it the other uh, item uh, I consider a con would be that it's only a one-seater you know uh, there's plenty of times my kids want to ride in this with me and sometimes I let them sit in the bed but most of the time they're up in my lap and stuff so so that is a, a bit of a con there is that you can't just go like on a ride with your kids or something um, uh, it is a one-seater um, the other thing is that it's uh, it doesn't go very fast this is a hydrostatic uh, transmission on this and so uh, I haven't really found an easy way of speeding this up so uh, anyway I'm trying to still look and research that but it, it goes about five miles an hour which is uh, you know about you know pretty almost like a jogging pace so it's okay for the size of property we have but um, would be nice to go a good you know 10 12 miles an hour would have would be really helpful so that's kind of my next look is to see if I can get this to go any faster but Anyway, this is just a, a quick video of showing you what I've got here as a, you know, kind of a redneck utility vehicle. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Put down any comments um, about it. If, if, if there's things that you've done that have worked that um, you think I could, I could use, I, I would appreciate that. Any kind of other ideas, I'm still, you know, adding on as I'm using it. So, um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and... Uh, Appreciate it. Thank you.